Hey parents, and welcome back. The consent conversation is very important to me. And look, I even wore my consent t-shirt for this episode. I believe that today we live in a consent culture where there is less tolerance to gray areas or to non-consensual or not sure about consensual situation. As a mother of two boys, I wanna make sure that I prepare them as they go through their sexual journey, that they can say no, that they can ask and get a no, and also that they can listen for a no. That even if they didn't get a no, they still actually can understand that the intention is actually no. My name is Michal Gwynn from Ask Michal, where I help parents to have real conversations with their teens about sex, pornography, and everything related. If you wanna gain confidence and learn what you should talk with your teenager about, then make sure you hit the right subscribe button and also the bell icon. So let's talk. How do you teach teenagers about consent? How do you teach boys or girls about consent? For me, the first step is actually to start at home, to start with the sibling relationship and with the relationship they have with us, the parents. When it comes to the relationship as siblings, from a very young age, I was very firm that no means no. So if someone said no or stop, they have to stop immediately. Even if it was in the middle of a game, I didn't care. No means no. They heard that from a very young age. You have to stop. And as they grow, I was very clear that no is not a joke. So don't make assumption. If someone, if your brother told you no, it's a no. And how do you teach them consent as a parent? For me, it was about asking them if I can hug them and if I can kiss them. And I know that for some parents, that might be weird to ask your child if you can hug them or kiss them. But think about it, that we actually don't have permission from them to do that just because we are their parents. So. I think that actually showing them that we are giving them the opportunity to say no, this is where we can teach them consent because it's their body and it's their will, like their desire if they want to get a hug or not. So by me asking that, I gave them the power to say no. And I can share with you that for my young son, he actually told me more no's than yes. He liked the fact that he has the power. He saw that I really want to hug him, but he was like, no, mommy, you cannot. And all I said was, okay, I still love you. I wanted him to know that even if he tells me no, and he knows that I might like got hurt or I really wanted to do that, but he still said no, I wanted him to know that I still love him. That it's not a condition that if he says no, then he's going to lose my love. I think that this is how we as parents can model and can create the power of consent. When we model our children that the fact that someone told you no doesn't mean that they will stop loving you. So consent is not conditional. Consent is freely given. I wanted them to know that you can say no and still be loved. If I give them the tools and the power to practice consent in their most important relationship with their parents and with their siblings, then it will be easier for them to make sure that in their future relationships with their friends and with their future partners, it will always be two-way consensual. Let me know in the comments how you model consent in your home. I'll see you next week. Until then, stay safe and be well. Thank you for staying until the end. Want to learn more on how to start the conversation with your teen about sex and pornography? Download my free guide, seven messages you don't want to avoid when talking with your teen about porn. Click the link in the description box.